Hi, this is Kristen. I'm here to show you how to attach a file to your service catalog item, link to it, and move it to another instance. The first step is to attach the file to your chosen catalog item record. You can do that by clicking the attachment icon and choosing your desired file. You'll then see the file displayed on the record. Next, you'll add your attachment as a link. There are two places you can do that. The first is in the description of the catalog item. Here, adding the link is very straightforward. You highlight the text you want for your link and click the link icon in the fields toolbar. In the insert edit link modal, you'll see a field at the bottom called link list. When you drop it down, you'll see your attached file. Select it to add it as a link. If you want the file to automatically download when your users click the link, you'll also want to select new window underscore blank in the open link in field. Then click save. You can also add a link to your attachment in the help text of a catalog item variable. However, when adding links there, you'll see the link list option is not available in the insert edit link modal. In this case, you first need to grab the URL of the attachment by right clicking it in the catalog item record and selecting copy link address. There's another important step you'll need to take here. Paste the URL into Notepad. You'll notice the URL you pasted is specific to your current instance. This will cause issues when moving your catalog item through your instances, so you'll want to delete everything before the slash sys underscore attachment dot do. This will allow the link to point to whichever instance it's in. Once you've done that, copy the link again and paste it into the URL field of the modal. Set your link to open in a new window and click Save. The final thing I want to show you is how to move your attached file between instances. There are actually two tables relating to attachments, sys underscore attachment and sys underscore attachment underscore doc. You'll need to export records from both. First, navigate to sys underscore attachment. There, you'll see the name of your attached attachment listed as the file name. You can't click into the record because clicking it downloads the attachment, so you'll need to filter the list until your record is the only result left. Then export the XML and download. Next, navigate to the sys underscore attachment underscore doc table. This table stores the metadata for your attached file. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to personalize the list and pull out the created, created by, and sys attachment fields. If you sort by created descending and look at the sys attachment field, you should see the records relating to your attachment 
at or near the top of the list. There are typically multiple records for each attachment. This time, you can click into each one and export it as XML. Once you've moved your catalog item into the next instance, you can import these XML files and voila! The files are attached to your catalog item and clicking the links in your description or help text once again allows your users to download the file. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more ServiceNow tips and tricks.